Hi, welcome to the Quantity Surveying Studio. If you have not yet subscribed to the Quantity Surveying Studio, please do subscribe for Quantity Surveying related contents. In this video, we will be focusing on the UK construction industry and it will be mainly helpful for international quantity surveyors who are looking to move to the UK. For this purpose, I am joined by the team of Metron Quantity Surveyors. Metron Quantity Surveyor is a UK based quantity surveying and construction related YouTube channel. The link to their channel is given in the description of this video. Please do support them by subscribing to their channel and liking all their videos. So without further delay, let's move into this video by asking few questions to them. How is the scope for quantity surveys in the UK at the moment? Although quantity surveyors have been taken off the essential workers list in April 2021, quantity surveyors are still in need across the UK. The market is in dire need of quantity surveyors, and unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be enough supply to satisfy the demand. Hopefully, in this video, we can give you an insight in what is required to live and work in the UK as a quantity surveyor. What educational background is required by companies in the UK for a QS role, mainly if the applicant is from outside UK? A degree of some kind is essential whether this is an undergrad or postgraduate degree. But more than that, it's the relevant experience for the job you're applying for. If your degree is accredited by RICS also, that will be a bonus. What are the legal requirements for a non-citizen to work as a quantity surveyor or any job in the UK? There are three visas you can use to gain access to enter the UK as a quantity surveyor. The first is a skilled worker. To qualify for a skilled worker visa, you must work for a UK employer that's been approved by the Home Office, have a certificate of sponsorship from your employer with information about the role you've been offered in the UK, do a job that's on the list of eligible occupations, don't worry, quantity surveying is on there, be paid a minimum salary, how much depends on the type of work you do, and you must be able to speak, read, write, and understand English. You usually need to prove your knowledge of English when you apply. Your visa can last up to five years before you need to extend it. You'll need to apply to extend or update your visa when it expires, or if you change jobs or employer. The second is a graduate visa. You can apply for a graduate visa if the following statements are true. You're in the UK. Your current visa is a student visa or tier four general student visa. You've studied a UK bachelor's degree, postgraduate degree, or other eligible course for a minimum period of time with your student visa or tier four general student visa. And your education provider, such as your university or college, has told you that you've successfully completed the course. A graduate visa lasts for two years. You cannot extend your graduate visa. However, you'll be able to switch to a different visa, for example, a skilled worker visa. And finally, the third option is an ancestry visa. You can apply for a UK ancestry visa if you're one of the following. A Commonwealth citizen, which includes India, a British overseas citizen, a British overseas territory citizen, a British national overseas, or a citizen of Zimbabwe. You must also prove one of your grandparents was born in the UK, the Channel Islands, or the Isle of Man, that you are 17 or over, that you have enough money without help from public funds to support and house yourself and any dependents, and that you plan to work in the UK. You can stay in the UK for five years on this visa and extend for an additional five years or apply to permanently settle. Are international candidates being offered QS jobs? And could you suggest some companies which are providing sponsorship to international quantity surveyors? International candidates have been offered QS jobs, but it's usually at more senior levels, say senior QS and above. The bigger companies are most likely to offer sponsorship. These include the likes of Balfour Beatty and Kia. Could you suggest some good universities offering graduate and postgraduate courses in the field of quantity surveying? The majority of universities in the UK offer degree options for international students. We recently recorded a video of the top 10 universities to study an undergraduate and postgraduate degree, and all offer spaces to international students. The caveat is that it's offered if you can afford it. The cost of a degree in the UK for a UK-based student 
is £9,620, or 9.7 lakh rupees, per year. As an international student, that cost rises to £14,895, or 15 lakh rupees. Any additional skills or knowledge to be acquired before applying for jobs that could impress UK-based recruiters and hiring managers? It's important to be able to speak English fluently and effectively if you're to work in the UK. Being chartered with RICS also shows possible employers that you are competent. Could you advise some good job-related websites where UK-based QS jobs are posted? In the UK, the most popular job websites include read.co.uk, uk.indeed.com, totaljobs.com, and uploading your CV to cv-library.co.uk is also incredibly useful. Also, don't underestimate LinkedIn as a valuable tool. Which part of UK has the most number of construction projects going on? And which part do you foresee future projects happening? London is the easiest answer to this question. This is where a lot of construction work occurs and is a good central hub for workers. In the future, however, large infrastructure projects are commencing, such as Stonehenge Tunnel. This is in the southwest of England, near Salisbury. Which type of construction projects are being developed in the UK now? The most expensive infrastructure project is currently underway at a cost of £96 billion. This is a high-speed train network that connects the south of England to the Midlands and the north, and is named HS2. Also, a large nuclear power plant is being built on the west coast, at a cost of £23 billion. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Hope this video has given you an insight to the construction industry of UK and how as a QS you can apply for jobs in UK. What are the requirements for applying a job in UK? Please do like this video if you have found it to be useful. Do share it with your friends and colleagues. Stay safe. Take care. Bye.